Line them up. Shoot them down. They hit mute. Hey everyone, it's Julie Young for Korean American Story and Not Your Average. It's been a little bit of time since we've been doing Not Your Average, but we are back and we are here today with Jean Lee, who is an artist agent for Plum Reps. Plum Reps, yeah. yes, okay. Are you specifically a photographer's agent only? No, you're a stylist agent too, right? Yes, we okay. do both. Yeah, we have five photographers and three stylists and we represent them all. Is there a difference in the work that you do between an agent and a manager? We think it's all combined. We kind of wear a lot of different hats and you know, as an agent or a manager, whatever you call it, we are there to help manage the career of the artists that we represent and so that's sort of our biggest role. So you're helping with the contracts, you're helping get the gigs, you're helping negotiate the contracts, all that. All of that, of you know, manage their schedules, look at, through their portfolio, edit, talk through, you know, jobs, talk through jobs we got, talk through jobs we didn't get, work with the clients, be the middle person. And your agency is really small, it's very boutique. Mm -hmm. So how do you choose who you're going to represent? It's hard yeah. and the one thing I always say to everyone is I have to like them. You know, obviously there's a lot of talented people out there, yeah. but I have to like them because we talk to our artists more than we talk to our spouses. Right. And so I think it's talent aside, I have to like them, I have to trust them. And that's kind of the biggest thing when you kind of vibe with each other. Yeah. I think then it's easiest and then naturally can represent them in the best way. That's why you're here, because I like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. I really prefer to work with people that I like. So how do you find the artist? Like, do you go looking for them? Or if, let's say, a photographer was interested in getting representation, could they just cold email you? How does that work? We get a bit of both. So we get a lot of emails, people who want representation, or we may see somebody and be interested. We never poach. If they're already represented, we don't okay. poach. We don't play that game. So a lot of people email, but it has to be the right fit, the right timing. You know, some people are just starting on their own and may not be ready for representation. Kind of need to you know, be in the ropes by themselves for a little bit to understand what an agent does. So it takes time before we build that relationship and we are very slow to sign people on because we're so tiny. It's just my boss and myself and we don't have the bandwidth to be you know, adding people on constantly and right. she's always wanted to keep it small, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. So we actually do talk to all our artists and they're always all working. No one is just, you know, sitting around waiting for the next job. Right, right. It's probably a very personal approach. For yes. yes. Yeah. So you went to school for photography. Yes. So did you initially want to be a photographer yourself? Yes. Um, I think I always thought I would want to be a photojournalist. Mm -hmm. I love documentaries. I love the storytelling behind photography. Mm -hmm. You kind of fall into a job and you realize you kind of get into it and it kind of was on the side of this idea I wanted to be a photojournalist and I didn't realize this was a job, being an agent. Right. Yeah, I always loved photography but I think I always liked not being the photographer. There's a craft being in the behind the scenes yeah. and I think I finally learned that through my jobs that this could be a career which I didn't realize when I was in school. Yeah, interesting. So did you start as a photo editor? I was working as a photographer in the newspaper. Oh, you were? Yeah. For how long? For like, I think a year. So I was in grad school and I was working part-time for one of the newspapers in New Jersey. And I just thought this was it. I didn't know there was something else I could do. Mm -hmm. From that, I landed an internship at Install Magazine from literally just emailing contact us. <laughs> And wow. that's, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's incredible <laughs> how I even got the job because months later, I forgot that I even emailed them. So that's when I realized, oh, this is how magazines produce, you know, photo shoots. Like, I just didn't understand that process. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of art programs are more fine art driven. I just didn't have the knowledge of it. And so that became my photo editing career, I guess, uh, from in style to good housekeeping and to craft and then and now here. So how did you make the leap from photo editing to artist agent? Well, it was kind of forced on me. I got laid off. <laughs> Magazines are losing a lot of money and, you know, combining a lot of titles together and thought, this is the end of my career. What am I going to do? I had just had my son and I just felt like stuck. And uh, another agent friend of mine that I used to work with told me to like, oh, you should reach out to Plum. I know they're looking for somebody. 
And I was like, I've never been an agent. I don't know. I don't know if I qualify. And I still tell my boss that I didn't think I did well in the interview, but she, she, she liked me. We connected. And so I started part time with her to see how it worked. And that became, you know, a full-time job, and I've been working with her for almost seven years now. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And yeah. would you say you love the work? I do, and this is the thing. It's like we both went to art school, and so I think we understand the craft of what it takes to be creative. Right. But we both kind of knew that we weren't going to be the creator, and I think the business side of things and management style, we are able to bring it together. And so when we see an artist, it's not just okay, how much money can I make off of you? We really see them as career management. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we love finding almost kind of like that, you know, diamond in the rough, somebody who like nobody knows about and their work is incredible and they just haven't been, you know, represented and bring those people on to see how we can market their work. I think that's where we find a lot of joy in the process and that's where we are able to be creative. It's a weird way to be creative, yeah. but that's how we, We've always connected in that way, my boss and I. And mm -hmm. so we love that. It's like finding that rare painting and nobody knows about it and you want to share it with others. Yeah. 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 No, that totally resonates with me because that's essentially what I do now. <laughs> what I love to do is mm -hmm. to try and uplift other creatives mm -hmm. and help in any way that I can. And to me, it is a form of expressing my own creativity. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I totally get that. Yeah, that's awesome. You're so lucky because so many people hate their jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, whenever I hear someone who loves their job, yeah. I'm kind of in awe because, you know, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out life and it's like, I'm it's still just, figuring out. <laughs> you know, but like, I, I always say I'm a recovering lawyer. Yeah. And actually just a couple days ago, someone's like, why do you say that? And I was like, because it's miserable being a lawyer. <laughs> like I know maybe two happy lawyers out of all of the you know ones that I know, so. Um, that's really incredible that, that you do, you found like this perfect niche for you. Yeah, and I never even knew this was a job. Yeah. I never knew this would be my career. Yeah. It just sort of, I think every single path that I took led me here, which is kind of amazing. So what advice would you give to the young creatives out there? Oh gosh. Um, do what you love. I mean, I think a lot of, even our photographers, you get these great jobs, commercial jobs, and it's great money and it's fun, but at the same time, if it doesn't feed your soul, if it doesn't feed your creative soul, it doesn't matter how much money you make, you're gonna be miserable. And so we always encourage our artists, like if you have time, your schedule's a little bit free, go to the museum, get inspired, you know, take pictures on your phone, like just anything. It doesn't have to be the perfect picture with the perfect lighting do what you love and just be feel good about it because you yourself is a creator. And so if you don't create, I think that's when you get burned out and you just are not feeling it anymore. And yeah. so I think especially when the artists get busy, we always have to remind them, make time for yourself, you know, work hard, play hard. It's really true. And I think the young creatives out there, I think you have to find your own self in your work. There's a lot of people who try to do what others do or, you know. Right, right. Like which copy is, a style. Yeah, yeah, which is important to, to know how to do it. But I think in the end, you have to know what your look is, what your style mm -hmm. is, and stay true to that. I think that's important. But what advice would you give then to, to young photographers who either don't have representation and are looking for it mm -hmm. or want to mm -hmm. someday look for representation? What advice would you give? Um, shoot a lot do a lot of personal work, talk to everybody. I think a lot of times they are scared to make that first call to mm -hmm. an agent. Not every agent is gonna be right for you and vice versa. It's like dating. We always say it's like dating. You have to date a few times, right. have coffee, have lunch, you know, move on to drinks and see if you wanna take it to the next yeah. step. And you have to see who's right for you. Like, mm -hmm. are the photographers on that roster somebody you aspire to be? Mm -hmm. Or is it somebody, are you so different that you can bring something different to that agency? I think you have to see which one you want to be. Mm -hmm. You have to educate yourself to know. And I think a lot of times they don't make that first step because they're a little bit scared. Yeah. But I think once you talk to others, you kind of end up finding who might be the right fit. Well, so along those same lines though, what if the artist is so shy and they don't have that within them, you know, to mm. be so forward and to do what you just said they should do? <laughs> I mean, you might not have the answer for that, yeah. but I remember um, at my film festival, one of the directors was really happy that this other person had asked the mm. same question because mm -hmm. they were talking about getting an agent or a manager or whatever. And the person asked, well, what if 
like you're so shy and you mm-hmm. can't you don't have that like rah rah for myself like mm-hmm. what should I do it's tough because a lot of it is doing the motions of you know not it's not just shooting as a photographer a lot of times you are meeting with clients and you have to get on these calls where you don't even meet the people and you have to be able to sell yourself too like you know the agents does a lot of the work but the photographers have to as well email Sometimes it's mm-hmm. easier because you're not really putting yourself right. out there with the phone call. But I do think you have to be somewhere in the middle. And I mm-hmm. think if you have an agent that understands that, they could coach you through it. We've had a lot of photographers where we've had to talk them through these calls, how to talk about themselves. Because it's not easy. Right. As an artist, nobody likes talking about themselves. Right. That's why they're the artist. Mm-hmm. But I think more and more clients want to see them as a package. like. Who are they as a person? Mm -hmm. Do I want to hang out with them on set? Do I like them enough, not just as a photographer, but as a person? And you have to be able to show a little bit of your personality that way. That's good, good advice. Thank you so much for inviting us to your home. And thanks for being on Your Average.